Hi, in this video I will try to convert a drawing that my son drew when he was little to 3D. I will use lathe tool to draw the head. For this I need to center the image with a symmetry line that appears with fixed. Select lathe tool, curve, and fixed. I'll go over the image from symmetry line and draw a similar shape to the head. With the background transform, I'll move the image to the side. I can do the next parts by looking at the image. Now let me adjust the shape of the head before validating it. Now validate and subdivide. Rename the object as head. Open the layer menu. Now I will tell you a little about the layer. You can record what you do on the object. You can understand that it is recording from this green dot. You can delete what you have done. Select clay tool and stroke menu. Choose this alpha, dynamic intensity. Symmetry. After sculpting, look at the layer menu. You can take back the eye socket that we saved as you see it, or you can delete that layer and sculpt again. Smooth with smooth tool. Now let's make eyes with sphere, add sphere, validate and subdivide. Place the sphere in the eye socket. Clone it and place the other eye in its place. In the image, the eyes are on top of each other. So let's put them on top of each other. Clone sphere and I will show you different sculpting method to make the mouth. Shape the sphere with drag tool into a smiling mouth. Lower radius, higher intensity. Place the sphere we shaped into the face with a gizmo. What we will do now is turn off the view of mouth and select head. From the merge menu, give value 200, 300 and tap to voxel merge. Smooth the sculpted mouth. Get to the top position and make the hair using mask tool. Make the top a round mask. Select mask tool settings and press extract, giving the shell thickness a value of about one. Select head and clear the mask. Select hair and symmetry menu. Give value to radial Y7 and begin to shape with drag tool, lower radius, higher intensity. Draw the hair by dragging it upwards, then decrease the radial Y value to 3 to make a few more crazy hairs. Select all the pieces from the scene menu and turn them sideways as in the image. Let's come to the long legs coming out of the head. Child mind can be crazy. Select tube tool and curve, draw and thin the tubes. Knowing the name of what you do helps you. Combine the same parts with join and rename. Add cylinder from scene menu. I'm going to assemble a few parts for boots. We will open the top of the cylinder with the hole and keep the bottom closed. Before validate, for left boot tap to mirror. Select mirror and cylinder and move them together under the legs. Validate and subdivide the cylinders. For the heels of our boots, let's deselect everything and add a cylinder. Give the cylinder a thin shape and put it under the piece of shoe we made before. A little information, we are always bothered by the rotation of all the pieces while we are working, so we can either turn off the view or press the solo and work on the selected piece. Validate and subdivide. Since the cylinder is the heel, we have to cut a certain part of it. Select trim and cut the cylinder. Move this cylinder under the mirror and create the shoe of the left foot by duplicating it. Deselect again and add a cylinder for the bottom of the bot. The cylinder will be the sole of our boot. For this make a thin oval shape. Now let's put this shape on the heel with the gizmo. Then let's give that curved shape of the sole of the shoe with the drag tool. Duplicate the cylinder by moving it under the mirror. Validate and subdivide. Select the Z-plane in the symmetry menu with the drag tool and start shaping the base. Set low radius and high density to create the sole of the boot. Make the final adjustments and add the last cylinder for the other pieces of boot. Add the cylinder under mirror and turn it over to form the middle part of the boot. Place the piece in the middle of the boot using gizmo. Tap to hole, validate and subdivide. If a piece comes out this way, destroy it with the flatten tool. Let's arrange all the parts of the boot by dragging with the drag tool. For the front of the boot, add the sphere from the scene menu and shape it with gizmo. Place it in the space at the front. After shaping the sphere, 
let's validate and subdivide, then cut the bottom part with trim tool. After our cutting process is finished, what we need to do is fix all the parts of the boot we added with the drag tool and pay attention to all the details. We're done with the detailing. Now let's merge all the pieces. First select mirror and choose an instance. Select every other part except the heel and sole of the boot and make a voxel merge with a value between 200 and 300. With voxel merge, all the parts have been merged softly. Now let's smooth out the combined parts with smooth tool. It's time for arms and hands. I'll use the tube tool for arms. Choose the tube tool with curve and make the arms. Make the arms a little thinner than the legs, then validate. Add sphere, validate and subdivide, then make an oval palm like shape with the drag tool. Let's place it like a palm. Draw a finger with the tube tool and duplicate it with radial from the repeaters in the symmetry menu. Let's line up the fingers around the palm by moving them with the gizmo. There are five fingers in the picture, so let's choose radial and give five as value. Soften the fingers with the smooth tool and place them around the palm. Place them separately as if all five fingers were open. Now make the fingers a little bigger with Gizmo's green circle and finish the hand. Select all hand pieces and clone the hand. Move to left side. Select all the parts that need to be connected together and merge them with voxel merge, as we did on boot before. When we do this, the joints will also be softened. That's why we do the voxel merge. Now let's smooth everything that is merged with the smooth tool. My son's hero is finished. Switch to PBR mode and color. Select paint tool and from stroke menu, choose the alpha, fall off and dynamic intensity. Increase the paint intensity to paint more intensely. Decrease the radius, choose black color and paint the squint eyes. From here, we need to do the lighting. For lighting techniques, please watch my lighting video. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.